Matplab is a numerical computing environment developed by Matworks and it has powerful built-in math functions and libraries. Uh, like uh, it has many toolbox um, like control toolbox, signal processing toolbox um, and uh, for aeronautics, robotics, uh, everything, uh, even statistics, they have many toolbox uh, and which has built-in mathematical function related to that uh, field. And then uh, this software requires license and it is most widely used in industry and academic research. Um, okay, why should we go for Octave? So, um, like a big person who just wanted to work in um, a MATLAB-like environment and uh, wanted to use a free software, then we can uh, prefer GNU Octave because the GNU Octave is uh, similar to MATLAB and it is very uh, much compatible with MATLAB and it can run in GUI or uh, invoked as a part of shell script and it is used in uh, industry and academia. So, uh, maybe what is the difference between a MATLAB and uh, GNU Optimist? Like MATLAB has a model based uh, uh, programming where uh, you have Simulink which uh, um, in industry it is mostly used uh, to uh, connect the models and then uh, run the code. Uh, executed so that uh, you, you get uh, outputs and also they have um, uh, coders to just convert the uh, model to code all the kind, uh, kind of steps are available but a GNU doesn't have a model based programming but if you have to uh, create a model you can as well write uh, your own script to do it and uh, GNU can be preferred uh, if uh, this, uh, if you if you're a student or if you are uh, going to be a researcher, you can definitely go use JNU Octave, uh, writing your own scripts. So uh, each of this software has its own importance. And then um, uh, similarly, we have uh, la, la, software called uh, Scilab. Uh, even Scilab has some kind of model-based programming, and um, even um, which is somewhat closer to MATLAB but not that much compatible like GNU Octave. So let's uh, look into GNU Octave and um, we'll see where to get the software. So we have uh, gnu.org software Octave where we can um, download the software and it is available for free and it can run in uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux everywhere and um, Next is, um, I have installed uh, GNU Octave, um, so let me open. So you can see this uh, like uh, it opens very fast and then um, just to know about the package list, uh, it, it has something like uh, environment, something similar to MATLAB that is you have the file browser, workspace, command history. And then even variable editor is here and um, we can have uh, editors also that is if you click on windows it shows the editor if you click on editor you will have an editor i'll show you that and um, now uh, to know what kind of packages are available here just we can type package list so it shows us what are the packages available which are installed along with uh, default uh, software and it shows communication control, data smooth, uh, smoothing database and it has even uh, signal uh, processing and uh, it has linear algebra, statistics, image processing, everything is available similar to that of MATLAB. So what's special in um, uh, GNU Octave is, we'll see how it is compatible with uh, MATLAB by executing some of the MATLAB um, scripts here. So we'll first try uh, try some script here, uh, like we'll execute uh, through command window and then we'll write a script in the editor. And now, so I'm now in um, mathworks.com uh, page where um, we have matrix and arrays in the, in the documentation page, in support and documentation page. So here uh, to create an array, we use this uh, like a equal to just create a matrix. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, array. Let's uh, paste it here. So we get a equal to one, two, three, four. Let's check there. Yeah, we get the same. And then let me copy this. And 
and we can check there we uh, we get the same uh, here we get a matrix that is one two three four five six seven eight nine where it shares a three cross three matrix and let's check this so we get um, a single column and, and five rows that is uh, a column uh, vector which has uh, zeros filled in with that so we can uh, try these things so i'm just taking uh, um, examples from matlab and then i'm implementing it here and mm, let's check image processing uh, tool uh, like uh, the documentation here we have image processing to Im Im import image and all so what happens now is uh, let's uh, check this it's like i'm going to use imd uh, po.tiff i'm not going to use this i'm going to read some image from my uh, pc so let me take this i'm going to directly paste it here but instead of this i'm going to change the this is going to be my path where I have test.jpg sorry BMP so it's test1.bmp file uh, format now it has read so next i have to use i am show of i so it shows the image here so that's what is happening so you can directly use uh, matlab uh, 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 matlab scripts here and not only that we can go, um, even uh, run some um, commands in uh, editors and uh, we can write our own script and we can see something uh, uh, which says that it is very much compatible uh, Optivus compatible with MATLAB that is you can click on new script here uh, if I type something like the usual command the CLC and clear and then run a equal to 1, 2 and 3, 4 and if I run it will ask me to save the file so here you can see octave files have dot m extension that is m scripts uh, it, uh, this can run m scripts this is what it shows like matlab file also has m, m, uh, dot m extension so we can run matlab uh, scripts directly in octave now uh, we will uh, take the sample code from the genie octave site and just copy it mm. let's paste it here and then uh, save it sign test so now you can see uh, the output here that is uh, sine wave being plotted and uh, here x label title everything is uh, like used in MATLAB and uh, not only that in order to import a package what you'll have to do is we can import um, packages and that is package pkg load signal so in order to in, uh, import signal processing uh, tool uh, so you can uh, use this pkg load signal or for image we can use uh, pkg load um, image and for statistics you can use pkg load statistics like that so then you can uh, like now we can use the functions of signal processing that is um, t equal to 0 
0.1 to 20 and x equal to square of the function is uh, function belongs to signal processing square of t with uh, 50 percent duty cycle now we can plot t comma x so we have a square wave so this this uh, similar function is uh, the same uh, function is used in matlab so uh, we can directly use these things uh, here and if you can practice some kind of script here in uh, octave and then run the same script in uh, matlab and um, uh, sometimes uh, there is some uh, incompatibility with respect to uh, octave that doesn't uh, that much matter for us because um, when you are doing a, a high level of script uh, you might face some issues uh, um, for uh, simple projects you can definitely use octave so this is what i wanted to tell you in this video so we'll meet in another video thank you thanks a lot